Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's episode of our video, I will be sharing to you guys in this particular episode of our vlog, I will be sharing to you guys tips, guys, tips and how to, how can a transgender possibly get rid of blood clotting. Because in undergoing hormone replacement therapy, it is the mere fact that you're undergoing hormone replacement therapy there is this thing called tendency or my chance at talaga na magkaroon tayo ng blood clot and depending depende pa rin sa lifestyle niyo at kung ano yung mga bagay na ginagawa niyo so blood clotting is napaka dangerous niya kaya in this particular video na pag-isipan ko na why not magbahagi ng mga ideya or karunungan or knowledge regarding the possible ways and how one can paano maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng blood clotting since napaka delikado ng blood clotting at hindi natin gusto ang blood clotting sa ating katawan but before anything else if you're in, if you're new to my channel please do not forget to click the subscribe button and also to click the notification bell for you to be notified and updated in my new and upcoming uploads before sharing that particular tip tips or tips tip or tips and how to to get rid or paano may iwasan ang pagkakaroon ng blood clotting very important disclaimer guys i am not a doctor and i'm also not a student or I'm also not a person working in the field of medicine most importantly I am not a herbal medicine doctor pero I'm a fan of using herbal medicines because of their effectiveness and in my own perspective napaka safe talaga ang mga ganitong uri ng ganitong uri ng products in this particular video yun nga I will be sharing to you tips on how transgender can get rid of blood clots May 2019, I stopped undergoing hormone replacement therapy because of one reason. And that is, I th at first, pakiramdam ko, I'm having this thing called complications. Complications because of hormone replacement therapy. Now, I want to spread this awareness that in undergoing hormone replacement therapy, one of the complications that transgenders can possibly get out of this particular process is the blood clotting or coagulation in our body. Yung blood clotting is yun, isa yung, ang blood clotting is the process of, like, how can I explain this? I'm not really into, hindi ko talaga gaanong bihasa ang konsepto ng blood clotting sa, sa ating katawan. Pero, I will just be explaining blood clotting to in this particular scenario. So, for example, kapag nasugatan tayo, nagkakaroon ng mekanism ang ating katawan, we're in, yung mga, yung mga cells sa ating dugo is, talagang nag-coagulate nag sila that way napipigilan ang pagbibleeding. If you're undergoing hormone replacement therapy, ang nangyari is abnormal yung pag pagproduce ng mga or abnormal yung pag or there is this thing called abnormality with regards sa coagulation. It's because you're taking estrogen. I really hope that you get my point, guys. I can deeply explain kung ano talaga yung co coagulation pero coagulation and blood clotting they are just related or similar terms lang sila so yun nga undergoing one of the risk of undergoing hormone replacement therapy is yung pagkakaroon ng blood clotting or coagulation I don't, I don't like the lighting though it's very it's very light wait guys much better so as I've mentioned in main in one of my my vlogs, na isa sa isa talaga sa ma, sa risk ng pagandergo ng hormone replacement therapy, the mere fact that you're taking estrogen, so there is this thing called risk of coagulation or increased risk of coagulation in your body. Pero ito mga risk na ito mas tumataas ang chance na nangyari sila because of certain factors, and one of them is your the type of your food you're eating, and also considering your lifestyle. So if you're a trans woman, if you're a transgender, if you're transitioning, dapat na i-make sure na you're having this thing called nagiging mindful ka sa yung kinakain and also mindful ka sa way of lifestyle na yung pinapractice since this will have an impact or effect towards the process that you're in. So yun nga, taking estrogen, in HRT, transgenders need to take estrogen. That way, they will experience development of secondary female characteristics. But ang pagtitake ng estrogen, nakakakos siya ng 
blood clotting or coagulation. And blood clotting or coagulation, napakadelikad dun niya mga sis, since this can lead to serious health problems such as heart attack or myocardial infarction, stroke or cerebral infarction, cerebral infarction and isa pa is yung pinaka or yung worst yung pulmonary embolism at ito mga bagay na ito na experience ang mga symptoms ng mga particular na mga illnesses na ito na experience ko, ko siya way back May 2019 I thought I'm having complications because of HRT since I switched back into using the Yan 35 as part of my hormone replacement therapy and it is a birth control pills and birth control pills are known to trigger blood clotting or coagulation, or coagulation faster but thanks god to the different diagnostics that i underwent i'm not having complications of hrt i'm not having blood clotting in my body the reason for the the reason for those symptoms is because of my heart condition i'm having this thing called metral valve prolapse a congenital metral valve prolapse with regurgitation a congenital heart defect so yun nga i asked my doctor on an endocrinologist on what are the probable ways or how what are the different ways one can get rid or paano maiwasan ang pagkaroon ng blood clotting or coagulation sa iyong katawan isa sa mga isa sa mga advices na ibibigay niya sa akin is yung pag-take ng mga natural blood thinners so importante talaga ang mga natural blood thinners that way mas naiwasan ang pag, pagiging malapot ng iyong dugo. That way, naiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng blood clots sa ating katawan. And some of the examples of natu natural blood thinners or foods or medicines or herbal medicines na example for blood thinners. A concrete example for this is ginger. So, isa sa mga advices ng aking doktor or ng endocrinologist is mag-take or uminom ng ginger tea every morning. Most especially those person who are taking estrogen since malaki, malaki daw ang tulong ng ginger tea upang maiwasan ang blood clotting at the same time upang gumanda ang ating digestive system. So, two-in-one purpose na pag-take ng ginger tea. Nakakatulong siya upang maiwasan at ang blood clotting at nakakatulong din siya upang maging maayos ang sistema ng ating digestive system. Aside from that, he also he also emphasized na isa sa mga reasons kung bakit nagkakaroon ng tao, nagkakaroon ng ta, nagkakaroon ng tao ng blood clotting or abnormal blood blood clotting kat sa ating katawan since ang coagulation is normal mechanism sa ating katawan pero nagkakaroon ng ganitong uri ng nagkakaroon ng abnormality with regards to this particular process or system kapag ang tao is hindi kan hindi talaga siya active active sa kanyang way of living or sa kanyang lifestyle so if the person is practicing sedentary lifestyle so there is great possibility increased risk of blood clotting to our body kaya isa sa mga advices niya aside from taking herbal herbal foods or herbal medicines is yung pagkakaroon ng active lifestyle and you can achieve this by having regular exercises every day so those were just some of the tips na ibinahagi ng aking endocrinologist upang maiwasan ang takakaroon ng blood clotting he further emphasized that it is okay for me to go back to hrt since wala naman talaga akong complications even though i have this thing called congenital heart defect according to him it will not hinder or it will not affect the process but I just need to be mindful and extra careful, careful, considering na meron akong heart problem. So yun nga, binigyan, ako ng, binigyan, niya, binigyan niya ako ng mga tips on how to, to prevent blood clotting. At first is yung pag-take ng ginger tea and second is pagkakaroon ng active lifestyle. So right now, even though I'm no longer transitioning, I am applying those things i'm taking ginger tea every morning and also i'm doing the glowy thing abs work a challenge because for me that is a very good exercise in order to achieve an active lifestyle and to eradicate and to get rid or to to avoid this thing called sedentary lifestyle since sedentary lifestyle napakahirap niyan at napakadelikado since, since it will lead to different problems most especially 
with regards to our health. But one thing is for sure, guys, hindi naman siguro compulsory or necessary na gawin mo talaga yung mga bagay na ito. Pero if you're per if you're a person na talagang conscious with regards sa iyo, sa process na pinagdadaanan mo, you're being conscious if dapat lang talaga na ma-conscious ka since napakadelikado talaga ang blood clotting. So you can do this. Wala namang mawawala pag wala namang mawawala pag gagawin mo ang mga bagay na ito. Pero one thing is for sure, the best thing talaga na dapat mong gawin is magkonsulta ng doktor if it is okay for you to take ginger tea and ginger tea as part of your HRT since in the very first place, herbal medicine naman siya. So, hindi talaga siya ganong nakakasama sa ating katawan. In, in fact, marami mga studies ang nakaklaim na maganda talaga ang ginger sa katawan ng tao or sa for the affected or for the improvement of the performance or for the ability never mind i mean mo talaga talaga maganda talaga ang ginger para mas ma-improve ang functioning ng ating katawan so that's really my point i really hope that you get my point i think that would be all guys i really hope that you learned something out of this video i'm a, i am hoping that you find this video informative and beneficial most especially those transgender who are having this thing called underlying health problems pero gusto pa rin nilang i-pursue ang HRT since pakiramdam nila this is the process that is meant for them HRT is a very beautiful process mga sis pero yun nga dapat sa pag engage sa ganitong proseso dapat we are willing to embrace and we are willing to accept the responsibilities or mga kakibat na risk of this particular process since we can't really deny the fact that HRT is a risky, dangerous, and life-threatening process. Kaya, we also need to do our part para mas maging successful tayo sa proseso ng HRT since health is indeed wealth. One thing is for sure, magandang proseso ang HRT pero mas mahalaga ang ating life. Mas malaga, mas malaga ang ating health. So, I think that would be all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all. See you on my next upload. Bye.